Okay, good evening everyone. Wake up. <laughs> I know it's late. So, um, my name is Philip. Um, two sentences about myself. Um, I'm the co-founder and CEO of Eurato. We founded the company approximately two and a half years ago. I was working for Rocket Internet before for some years. Uh, helped to establish Glossybox in the market. Before that, I was living and uh, working in, um, in Madrid. Helped to establish a company called Kids and Trees, where we um, designed and uh, even built uh, playgrounds for children, custom made. So uh, that, was, that was pretty fun. And I have a business background. I was studying at the Copenhagen Business School and at the Bocconi University in Milan before. So who of you ever uh, has used, uh, or, or whoever of you uh, has needed a lawyer? Raise your hands. And who of you didn't know where to, where to go or what to do? Okay, still some hands. <laughs> That's actually the reason we, we founded Urato. Uh, so what is Urato? Very short. Um, it's a cloud-based uh, online platform for the mediation and management of legal cases for lawyers and clients. I jumped directly into the, the product to get a broad idea because it's a bit complex. So uh, we started, that's actually a screenshot from our current website. So uh, the, the first thing we started with is uh, a marketplace. So how does it work? You go on the website, uh, you choose your field of law, um, you know, law of tenancy, labor law, traffic law, whatever. You describe your legal issue. You then get uh, quotes from lawyers. It's between three and five um, uh, quotes you get and they tell you what they do and how much it costs. So you can compare them, you then assign one of the lawyers, um, pay him directly, and then you have your personal lawyer to talk to. And behind the whole system is a management software as well, a software as a service, which we established during the last uh, couple of years. Then we have a different product. I always say it's for, um, let's say, for the smarter a client, so he knows what he wants. So he goes on the websites, he chooses uh, the field of law, and there we have something we called fixed packages, so fixed uh, services, um, around 150, um, which you can, um, can, 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 you, or you can choose one of these uh, services and then assign your specific lawyer. So it's way faster than waiting for quotes from, from one of the lawyers. Um, then we have something, you know, it's a directory, so if you, if you want it even faster, um, we have uh, a few hundred lawyers on our website, so you choose your for example, if you want one in your in your country, uh, in your in your city, or in your village, um, you you can you can choose one of the lawyers and then assign him directly, which is probably the fastest way. Um, then last year we realized um, that Eurato.de is probably 70% percent b 2 c and 30%, 30-20% B2B, but B2B is of course a much more uh, interesting market. So we established Eurato Pro for professional. Um, which is a success um, story, or, or I could say. Um, so it's like your online legal department for your company. How does that look? You go on the website as well. There's a direct link. Uh, you are the pro. You have four different uh, memberships uh, which you can uh, choose depending on how much hours you, you want. Um, so you say, okay, I want the, I don't know, the business uh, membership, which is eight hours uh, per month. You, get then a you then get a list from, from uh, different um, lawyers and you choose then one and so you have your personal uh, lawyer and you can communicate with him easily um, via something we call the online law office. Uh, you have a video chat function, so you don't have to go to the, to the real law office anymore. Uh, you know how much time you have left for the month. You can upload documents. So it's really like the whole idea of the virtual uh, law office. So that's what we do. Um, sh like, um, so, so you know what we are doing. Um, uh, so my idea was to show you how we developed the whole idea and and uh, a bit you know the real story behind behind the startup. Um, so the first phase I called it is is the fast but thoroughly phase, meaning um, you know be fast but be thoroughly. So you know set up the business plan, uh, set up the financial plan, do your market analysis, uh, do the comp uh, competitor analysis, set up your company. Get a diverse founding team, uh, but don't wa uh, waste too much time. Um, go out there and, and of course, uh, get your legal stuff done. That's the reason, actually, we established Uato Pro, because we had the feeling that many of the startups and, and companies who are in the beginning, they need legal advice. So, you know, company agreements, the statute, uh, the first uh, employment contracts. Um, we were lucky because one of our founding uh, partners is, is a lawyer, so we had someone in-house, but many don't. Uh, so, so there was there was a problem. 
So this is actually me uh, in our first office uh, back in 2013. Um, as we called it, like the small uh, rabbit tube. Um, very tiny, small office, three people could fit in there. Um, uh, and um, we were quite lucky because uh, Posim that I back then invested uh, in, in our company uh, right from the beginning where we actually only had um, a PowerPoint presentation and the team. Uh, but they liked the idea because it fits to, to, to their, to their uh, yeah, program. Um, so there was for us a huge, a huge step. So it, to getting approved uh, by a, a known player helped us a lot. Um, so what we did is we got an agency here in Berlin uh, with developers in Poland uh, and developed the first website quite fast. Um, that was the first website. Uh, I saw it yesterday when I made the presentation. And I thought, why not? It, was, uh, it looked okay. Uh, we started with uh, four um, field of laws, so uh, labor law, family law, um, law of tenancy, and traffic uh, law. Um, and nowadays, we have around like 40 um, uh, fields of law, so um, like everything you want uh, and every, every lawyer you need, we, we do have him uh, nowadays. So that was the first prototype, so don't waste too much time of developing, you know, go out there and test, that helped us a lot. Um, then, of course, who is your customer? Uh, there was an important question for us as well. So what we did, so in connection to, to Axel's uh, presentation at the beginning, we do use a bit of your uh, theory as well. Uh, we used kind of design thinking. So we went to the, the real lawyers uh, in Munich back then, uh, set up some meetings, uh, talked to them, and established together with them the first website. So asking them, what do you need? What do you want? What is the daily uh, issue in, 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 your, in your work um, day? And, uh, that helped us a lot um, to really to develop the whole idea because we didn't know really uh, what they were uh, looking for. Um, so really go out there and and uh, talk to the customers, read your, uh, meet your future lawyers and meet uh, in industry representatives and really listen to them what, what they want because some people or some companies develop something, throw it out in the market and then everyone is saying, okay, we don't need that. So we were afraid of that. So in the beginning we were talking to, to our future customers. Um, and then, you know, the first, and, and what they liked is that Posim that Eins invested, so there was kind of our trust uh, um, symbol we, we had uh, on the website. Um, so, you know, we called them, we made direct marketing, we sent them letters um, to, to get the first lawyers on the, on the website. Um, there was phase two, uh, so back in Berlin after four months of Munich, um, our first small office um, uh, with the first employees as well. Um, I called it uh, learning and growing um, because we realized that it's a real sensitive and serious market, you know. I will tell you something more about it later. Um, so we brought the whole development uh, into, um, into the company, um, uh, you know, because we, could, we were much faster and we had more control. We set up specific corporations, um, so um, websites with a legal approach which worked out pretty well. Uh, and, you know, content is always king, the same here to approach uh, the lawyers. So what we're setting up at the moment, and back then we had the first uh, small white paper about client relationship management, and that's something that the lawyers and the B2B market likes. Is when, you, when you present them really quality content, um, they read maybe once, they read maybe twice uh, the newsletter or, or the, uh, the white paper, and then they realize, okay, Urata is doing... Um, uh, good stuff and, and now I sign up. So that's, that's very important. On the other hand, the social media, what, what Sophie was uh, telling about, there was for example some uh, B2C uh, social media Facebook campaigns we were doing. Uh, people liked it a lot. Um, we got a lot of traffic, new cases, because people realized uh, what we were doing um, maybe for the first time and, and, and they could see uh, themselves somehow in, in different situations. So, um, so totally different to approach, uh, to approach the lawyers. And then phase three, um, I call it sales and marketing. So the company was established, uh, the, the, the software was running. Um, so we went out to many fairs, um, to the bits and bretzels, for example, in Munich, um, to the tech open air. So we approached uh, lawyers, we approached companies and present our fully developed uh, product. And um, you know we are still doing that. We're going to legal fairs. Uh, this, for example, there was in Hamburg last year. Um, I had a speech at the uh, Deutsche Bank last summer, so it's really going out there, present, pitch, um, and, and convince the people, because 
Um, what, what no one should forget, you know, it's all about lobbying. It's about know your customers, um, and it's not an app, it's not gaming, it's not e-commerce, it's really a digital service or digital product which is in need of explanation. Many people uh, in the first uh, uh, second they think they know what we are doing, but then they are sometimes lost, so you really have to take them uh, uh, through the customer journey basically and explain them what we are doing. Um, and the same with B2B. B2B is, of course, much more interesting for us because the retention rate is much higher. Um, some companies uh, stay a, long, a year long now. Um, before the B2C market is, of course, you know, you have one legal problem, uh, you get one lawyer, and then maybe you never come back, or maybe in two or three years you have the next issue. But it's not that every uh, week you come to us and uh, have a new legal issue. That would be, of course, nice, but the B2B market is, of course, uh, much more interesting for us. Um, then PR was important for us as well. Uh, we had some uh, very nice uh, PR work, um, uh, Wirtschaftswoche, uh, Bild Zeitung, some, some cool magazines uh, wrote about us. So that always helps. Uh, I was working in PR before, and what I can tell you is that it's cheap. Um, if you have some connections, you know someone, it's much cheaper, and that helped us a lot. Um, especially the lawyers liked it uh, because they can read something printed in their law office uh, so you don't have to you know, send them newsletters or whatever. So that, that really helped us. And then um, if that is done, you're more or less done with everything and then there is the world domination after that, which starts directly in phase four. That's of course only a joke, so um, that that's maybe sums up that what we are doing at the moment, uh, we are um, probably going to, to UK, um, which is an interesting market. Uh, Spain and Italy is uh, interesting as well. Um, and that's it. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook and uh, or send me an email if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.